Okay, so let's have a looky at where we are on the map. Um, I need a stick so I can... Oh, this will do. Um, we start the way up here. And we've come down here, through. So through this gap here with Carsake Island. There's Carsake Bay. We've come through here. See that narrows there. And we've gone through these narrows here. Uh, we've gone all the way down, past the hole on the map, all the way down to the McCulloch Isles. Pretty simple. You pass it to me, Jerry. Before you drift away. Thank you. Uh, there's your rope. Oh, you can you can raft up a hit so, alongside.
could go between us, of course. <laughs> Later. More moments later. Scotland John has just been having a look through uh, this book, um, the Clyde to Collinsay pilot. It's really good for giving you um, an idea of what the approach to where you're wanting to land for the night is going to be like, um, both sort of in photographic form. So we came down through here. Um, we didn't anchor out. We decided to uh, tie up to the uh, key here. Just it's just hidden below. So there's a nice little shelter here as well uh, for any winds coming from. This direction, well, actually, all the way around. Um, it's unlikely you're going to get wind coming whistling down straight down. Um, to be fair, even if it does, if you tucked in here, it's perfect. Um, it also tells you that you have got some rings to put some lines through and take those back onto the boat so you're tied up nice and safe. You don't have to worry about setting an anchor or finding a disheveled tree to tie up to. Don't do that. If we have a look on the chart. You'll see in a much smaller scale, we came in through to here, having been all the way up there. This chapel is lovely, well worth a little visit and a walk along the island. Uh, but yeah, this is the bay you want to be in. 